Hey, what's going on guys? I'm on my way to work real quick. There was a few things that happened overnight last night. Um, so forgive me, I am driving at the moment. I'm not going to have time to actually quote everything that that uh, I read. Or, I mean, I can probably quote the best. However, I'm not going to be able to post the links in the description um, for the reports. But if you check out... I mentioned uh, a YouTube channel, Israeli News Live, with Stephen Benoon. He's going to be reporting on this uh, same topic. Um, again, I trust this guy. He's very knowledgeable. He shows facts to everything he talks about. So if you guys really want to check it out, where you guys, again, you know, I, I promote self-awareness, self-reading. You know, check the facts yourself. Don't be listening to anyone else or, uh, you know mainstream media all right so let's get to this last night i made a video about the united states airstrikes helping the uh coalition force against syria's government um shortly after that i ended up talking a little bit about turkey you guys know about er erdogan the president of turkey showing up um in washington wednesday morning and there was a protest um and a security team ended up enticing a riot a couple people got injured. Now, there's a lot of banter back and forth. You know, John McCain is actually calling for uh, criminal charges against these guys. And they want an apology. Uh, police department saying that they might be protected by diplomatic immunity. Um, so that's going to be ongoing for now. Um, United States, again, wants the apology. Turkey is sitting there trying to say that you know, it was all the protesters that were the violent ones. They were just defending themselves. Now, if you go back in Turkey and actually pay attention to it, you know, if you protest in Turkey, they get beat up by, you know, the police departments and stuff like that. They don't, they handle protests a little bit different. All right. So anyways, now Turkey is now also telling the United States to leave the Kurds alone, to stop assisting the Kurdish forces. Um... United States, again, over there, you know, training all sorts of different forces to help fight ISIS. And, you know, we might be using them within this coalition strike within Syria for the regime change. Again, like I said, there's so many different players over in that Middle East. You know, it's filling up pretty quick. All right. So anyways, last night when they were making the threats for the United States to stop assisting the Kurds, the Turkey did say... That the Kurdish forces are nothing but a terrorist organization within their own country. Now the United States, this is what blows me away. The United States agreed with them. They agreed with Turkey that the Tur that the Kurdish forces are a terrorist organization. However, they said that's not the case here in Syria. We're not in Turkey. We're in Syria. So you know we're working with a terrorist organization, but it's different because it, you know the scenario is different. It's messed up. It's messed up. Um, however, however, Turkey is now telling America that they will be starting to move into Syria to fight um, Kurdish forces. And they cannot be held responsible for any U.S. casualties that's protecting the Kurdish forces. All right. So, guys, I just want, want to let you guys be aware of what's going on. Um, Turkey's starting to pop up everywhere within, you know, in between point fingers with the United States and Syria and all that. And I said last night, you know, there's so many different governments in Syria right now. You know, it takes one, one move, one wrong move to really escalate a conflict. And it would be a conflict on a global scale. I'm not trying to be a fear monger to you guys. I'm not trying to get you guys like scared. I'm just trying to, you know get you guys awake of what's really going on in the world you know mainstream media always they they, they want to waste the time and just focus on you know the negative shit you know there's way more pressing shit going on that could affect us worldwide than donald trump having ties with russia all right so again i just want you guys to be aware of anything if anything pops up on tv and says you know um anything about turkey or if we ended up in a war you know, I just don't want you guys to be blindsided. All right, guys. Again, if you guys want the facts, please go check out Israeli News Live with Stephen Benoon. Um, he made a couple videos on it. Um, 
I'm driving. I'm on my way to work right now, so I can't sit there and copy and post all the links in the description. But I will keep you guys updated as the news is coming out. This is escalating, and it's escalating very quickly, and it could spiral out of control. All right, guys. Be safe. Have fun. And I'll see you guys later.